Get set for a mighty encounter. Get set for God's word that you are about to listen to. It will bless your life. It will revitalize your spirit. It will energize your spirit, soul, and body. It will quicken your mortal body. It will stay up. It will strengthen you for more hunger into the depth of God. Get your writing material as we listen to God's word from his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. God bless you. Brothers, open your eyes. God is about to answer your prayer right now. Wake up. Your destiny is about to change. This is this is not just a story about romance. I told you the mysteries of the kingdom have the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories and parables. You can look at the romance and be ecstatic about it. But when the Holy Ghost guides you, you can draw forth the spiritual principle. And this is what you want to look at. By night on my bed, I sought him. This is a woman. This is the contemplation of the bride. Ladies, listen. This is a woman's heart now. Solomon. Solomon. How he entered the heart of a woman to draw forth her contemplations by night. Are you getting my point now? By night on my bed, this is the church, the bride of Christ. I sought him who my what? Soul loves. This is very important. Sensitive words are beginning to come into the equation now. He said, notice, he didn't say who my eyes delight in. Who my, your soul has already loved the person and you have not seen him. This is the spiritual technology behind love that is genuine. Not lost. She has not seen the husband, but planted in her the ability to love him. And it's from the soul realm. That means it's not tied to money. It's not tied to what you have seen. This is a woman thinking on her bed. How did her soul start loving someone she had not seen? Are you getting my point now? All through from the Garden of Eden, through the law and the prophet, man began to seek for one whom his soul loves. Are you getting my point? To seek for a way and a kingdom and a system. And they began to do all kinds of rituals. It was this contemplation. Why was it by night? Because that was the season of man's fall. Are you getting my point now? In need of redemption. The night time talks about the time of darkness. Talks about the absence of knowledge and salvation. He said, I sought him, but I what? Sister, you will never marry until you are ready to love. Are you getting my point? So, the equation about their meeting together does not even start with the man. It starts with the woman. Please, are you following me? i show you a mystery. The woman is busy thinking in her heart. But two, I will rise. Everybody say, I will rise. Say action. Say cooperation. The woman would have died there on her bed. She said, look, this passion, this is genuine love. Oh, look, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. In as much as we avoid emotional ecstasy, I'm going to be addressing things that will bless you. When, when the love of God, as far as marriage is concerned, is upon you, listen, that love becomes a priority. This lady was contemplating for so long. She could not lie down and sleep there. She said, look, I will arise and go about in the street. Have you seen love drive a brother before? Rain does not matter. Sun does not matter. Listen, if you don't have that kind of love, your marriage cannot work. That is the, the kind of love that gives excuses. That's the kind of love that gives excuses for everyone's wrongdoing. There are many people getting into marriage whose level of love is not passionate enough to get them to that realm. Please listen. Because God is answering someone's prayer now. There is no managing in marriage. It's better to fail in life and make it in marriage. The Bible uses marriage as a yardstick to show whether a bishop is a good bishop or not. Not praying in tongues. 
a bishop must be a husband of one wife able to keep his family marriage is that serious i will arise and go about to the city ah, yeah. he said and in the broad way i will seek him again whom my that means there is an imprint in her heart she's just looking for the face that will match that imprint are you getting my point ladies how many of you get into relationship purely because of what your eyes see genuine love starts from your spirit man genuine love starts way before any man appears not that you see somebody tall dark and handsome all of a sudden you cannot sleep there is a character and a nature of love that is welled up in you are you getting my point please i sought him but i found him not verse 3 let's hurry up the watchman ah yeah, this is a powerful revelation in a bid to look for someone please lady sister anybody thank you what's this this lady is looking for the person her soul loves now in a bid to search there are certain people she met on the way called watchmen are you getting my point now this watchman the watchman that go about the city found me to whom i said saw ye him that my soul loved that means in a bit to communicate this desire she met an evangelist she met a man of god she came for a meeting these watchmen have the ability to channel her to the true love this is someone following and the bible says verse 4 it was it was but a little that i passed from them but i found him whom my soul loved after she met and encountered this watchman after a season many things happened during her encounter with the watchman and she found this one that her soul loved and she said i held him and will not let him go she had found the love of her life indeed no confusion it says until i had brought him to whose house the woman that trained me the woman that qualified me to get into marriage to my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me this is not romance at all this is a very deep spiritual communication so the process starts with God who is able to put that desire are you getting my point now if that desire is not planted in you sister you may never truly get married please believe what I'm saying it's not just the issue of no man wants to ask me out it started with God putting a desire when God puts that desire all these two years of posting men and say I'm thinking about it is either he's not the one or he's the one as simple as that when she found the person her heart truly loved she knew it hallelujah thank you now I want you to see the level of passion I loved him I held him are you getting my point now look that, that level of love cannot happen in a human sense. It takes the spirit of God. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Do you see that many of the things we call love in marriage and relationship truly is not that God kind of love? I'm not just talking of agape. That love that God plans a man for his wife and a wife for that man. Let me tell you, I want to give you a litmus test very clear lady if the guy you are thinking of saying yes to if you are not passionate about him in love pack your load and leave quickly before you say yes that love is the ingredient that will sustain that relationship through the thick and thin 
please are you getting what i'm saying this is not enough to love a woman or love a man you must have passion the bible describes it as fire not lust because you saw a nice lady figure eight not lost remember that this love we are talking about started before she even looked at him that was why the day you gave your life to christ you knew it you knew you had found something i wouldn't trade you for silver or gold i wouldn't trade you for riches untold you are you are my everything and thank you for listening to that wonderful message from god's servant apostle joshua selman we believe you've been mightily blessed well, we would also like you to subscribe to reflector hub tv and also click on the notification bell to stay updated on our recent postings if you have been blessed by this message we would like you to also share with your loved ones with your colleagues with your classmates with your schoolmates and with friends and family, let's express God's love through sharing His word. God bless you.